नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा आई वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन आर सेकेंड क्यू एन ए सेशन सो ऑल ऑफ यू कैन पोस्ट क्वेश्चन इफ पॉसिबल रिलेटेड टू कर्मा टूडेज टॉपिक एंड अदरवाइज ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव अदर क्वेश्चन दे आर ऑल्सो वेलकम so let us start with today's theme a very important question and that is what is karma so i request all of you to please hear with attention there are so many problems in our life problems due to our mind and body so many diseases are there there is old age mental distress so many mental disorders are increasing in the society there could be problems because of other living entities because of unfavorable family members because of very bad culture in our office because of bad governance because of bad systems or the distress due to natural calamities there is famine earthquakes and so many other tsunamis natural disasters so when we face all these problems we try to find some solution by working very hard trying to do rigorous research work hoping that we'll be able to cross over these problems if relationship is not proper we try to move away from people or try to find new set of people so that we can be happy oh the governance is not good let us go to a different place where systems are well they are nice nicely organized there are problems because of finances let me work very hard and become very rich so that i can solve this problem so in this way we try to find some solutions but we have to understand whatever problem we are having in our life it is happening just because of one factor and that is कॉल कर्मा कृष्णा टेल्स इन भगवद गीता ममा इवांशो जीव लोके जीव भूता सनातन वी आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल्स ऑफ गॉड वी आर चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गॉड पेरेंट्स डू नॉट अननेसेसरीली चेस्टाइज देयर चिल्ड्रन बट दे वुड डू सो इफ चाइल्ड इज क्रिएटिंग हार्म टू हिमसेल्फ और टू अदर्स अदर चिल्ड्रन इन अ सिमिलर फैशन वेन वी ब्रेक द लॉज ऑफ नेचर वी हार्म अदर पीपल or we harm ourselves then we are punished so only when we break the laws of nature we do vikarma vikarma means going against the laws of actions as prescribed in the literatures vedic literatures the laws of nature then we are punished and unfortunately when we do not know the cause of our suffering if we try to go for such remedial measures by removing the immediate sources of our problems then we create we compound the problem a simple example we will discuss just like a thief is there and the thief gets arrested and then there is an advocate who argues against him and then there is a judge who writes a sentence and the thief is there in the jail if the thief thinks whenever i steal then this policeman comes and catches me if i kill this policeman then nobody will catch me i'll be happy if he kills the policeman more difficulty or if he think this advocate argues against me if i kill the advocate i'll be happy no he will much more increase his miseries the system will arrange another advocate but thief will not get any relief 
or if he thinks this judge has written sentence against me let me kill the judge no that will create more problems if the thief now is there in the jail and wants to break the jail more problems his jail term will be elongated this is very important so i request all of you please pay heed to this point this is what we are doing we are having some problems in our life some sufferings and we want to find some measures to avoid the suffering making the jail the postman removing the immediate cause of suffering mistaking them as the ultimate cause we increase our suffering that is why even though the world is working very very hard for happiness distress only is increasing in the world and the tell world is more depressed than the great depression of the world war even in our individual lives as we are growing with the passage of years all the work that please notice why we are working so hard for all these years just to become happy to remove distress from our life but if you see most of the people have simply increased their distress in their lives is it not very striking point so much hard years of work and with the passage of years i hope i'll become happy but distress tensions anxiety is only compound in my life because we are not understanding the absolute cause of our miseries we are removing immediate causes like the thief removing the policeman judge or breaking the jail and his suffering increases so that is why it is told in the scriptures in shrimad bhagavatam dukhaye sukh mokshay sankalpa ih karmina the karmis people who work hard to enjoy the results of their activity they work hard to achieve two ends either to become happy in the life to attain sukha or dukh moksha to get freedom from the misery there's two pur- there are two purposes increment of happiness reduction of distress but they achieve only one thing prahlad maharaj tells sada aapnoti ihaya dukham even though a person works hard to increase happiness and mitigate his distress he always gets more and more distress in one's life anihaya sukham avartam if a person does not work hard to reduce the distress and increase happiness of life then a person remains happy so now most of us we can see that why we are increasing our suffering because we are working very hard the harder we work to remove the suffering of our life by following the path of karmis yes we have to work work hard to remove the distress but if we take the path of karmi then what will happen the mitigation of miseries will not happen neither happiness would increase so that is why krishna tells in bhagavad gita duirena hi avaram karma buddhi yoga dhananjaya to come out of this cycle of karmas please follow the path of buddhi yoga come out of this fruitive mentality do not become karmi karmi means what is 99% of population here work hard to enjoy the results of your work the money the power the position that you get from your work no this kind of activity simply increases stress in our life and that is what we are seeing is happening in our lives so that is why krishna tells do not become karmi tasmad yogi bhav arjuna please become yogi so one can be gyani one can be tapasvi one can be karmi or one can be yogi if we actually want happiness in our life we should do yoga what is yoga connection with god when a person understands that the suffering is because of my karma now just like a thief has broken laws of nature how the thief can get relief only in one situation any criminal can get relief from the laws from the imprisonment punishment when he or she writes an application to the president surrenders to the president in a similar fashion when we surrender to supreme lord krishna tells sarv dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam raja aham tvam sarv pape bhyo moksha ishyami mashucha please surrender unto me sarv dharman parityajya whatever man made religions you are following please forget all of it and please surrender unto me completely 
अहम तवाम सर्व पापे भ्यो मोक्षयिष्यामि एंड आई विल गिव यू फ्रीडम फ्रॉम ऑल पाप ऑल द लॉज ऑफ नेचर दैट यू हैव ब्रोकन ऑल द सिनफुल एक्शंस सो दस इफ यू वांट एक्चुअल हैप्पीनेस इन आवर लाइफ रिलीफ इन आवर लाइफ वी शुड सरेंडर टू कृष्णा इन दिस वे वी विल गेट फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द रिएक्शंस ऑफ सिनफुल एक्टिविटीज दैट वी हैव एक्युमुलेटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ रॉन्ग एक्शंस ऑफ द पास्ट दिस इज अ ग्रेट सीक्रेट व्हिच इज रिवील्ड इन भगवत गीता अदरवाइज प्रहलाद महाराज टेल्स if we take single step to increase the happiness in life or to reduce distress in our life we simply increase our miseries so this is introduction to karma more i think i should take in the form of questions that you have already started posting so let us see some questions now हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी प्लीज टेल इफ यू वर्शिप कृष्णा बट कान डू इट विथ फुल विलफुल एज वी हैव मटीरियल ड्यूटीज वॉन्टेड टू डू बट कान डू ड्यू टू टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट सो विल इट अफेक्ट आर लाइफ इफ यू डू इट प्रॉपरली अंडर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिवोटीज देन यू विल बी सेफ सो दस प्लीज डिस्कस द कंस्ट्रेंट्स विद द डिवोटीज दैट इज वाई द डिवोशनल सर्विस शुड बी डन अंडर गाइडेंस then if you strictly follow the instructions given by the devotees then there is no harm virendra ji ravi ji kishori ji komal ji hare krishna mohan ji yogita ji hare krishna next question hare krishna prabhu ji if anything happens how do we know that it is because of the past life karma or it's a new karma and the consequences we will get in the future so karma is in our hands actions are in our hands so that is why we should understand from the scriptures what are right actions if we do right actions we will have right results and if we do wrong actions we will have suffering in our life and uh, the results that we are getting you work very hard to keep your health nice but despite our best efforts if it is not there in karma we will suffer so in this way despite our efforts if we are not able to have something we should understand it is because of karma past karma so we should do try to do uh, again this is very important we should not do either punya karma or pap karma if you do punya karma so called good activities you will get material benefits but for good material life and comforts you will have to accept another material body an acceptance of material body means to suffer from one more death and so many diseases and old age so that is why the situation in material world scripture still is compared to life in jail in jail there is high class prisoner and low class prisoner so one should not think oh let me become high class prisoner real life is outside the jail so krishna tells you please come to my abode tad dhamam param mama na tad bhasayate suryo please come to my abode my place there is no death old age disease or distress over there so for that one should neither do punya nor do papa and simply try to serve krishna that is called akarma that will not create material body but it will help us advance to spiritual platform so despite our efforts if something is not happening as per our endeavors we should understand it is because of past life Hare Krishna Prabhu ji as it is said those who surrender to Krishna his all karma pain and pleasure will manage will be managed by Krishna so if not surrender completely then relative less karma will be managed by Krishna yes ye yathamam prapadyante to the degree we surrender to Krishna Krishna reciprocates everything is fixed there is no karma this is only a cheating concept for people a trikal darshi devotee and lord himself can see what you are going to do in future then where is the free will so the question is if everything is fixed then where is a the question of free will so the answer is everything is not fixed so it is simple beg your pardon it is simple to understand just like now you do certain activities you choose some subjects in your plus 2 level in school then 
it is fixed what kind of colleges you can take admission into. You take biology, then you take admission into medical college. You take other subjects, you take engineering, uh, admission in engineering college. You take commerce, you go into commerce college. So that is called destiny. Now because you have chosen these subjects, your destiny is fixed, you can choose these things. And then you appear for those colleges. If you do next karma, you submit the fees, you clear their examination, you qualify, and then you fill the complete the application procedure, then destiny becomes further fixed. You are going to have degree from that college also, that college only, but still there is freedom also. And what is that freedom? How much marks you are going to score? That still depends upon you. Which subjects you are going to study there, the electives, you still have freedom upon for, for these things. In this manner, every action that we do, it fixes something that is called destiny, but there is always free will in that. Now you have chosen some job, you have done your karma, you applied for that company, you appeared for the interview, you prepared nicely, you cleared the interview. Now your destiny is fixed. Now you will get a particular office, you have to go there, sit and do particular kind of job. This is our destiny. Now if you do our job nicely, we'll get promoted, we'll get more money. If you do not do, we'll be dismissed from that. So in this way, few things are fixed, that is called destiny, but there is always free will involved. Thus, uh, our future is in our hands. So we can understand that rains are going to happen. This is what Trikal Darshis can see. But this is also very important because he is asking some people are there who can see past, present and future. So if future can be seen, where is the free will? Future can be seen in the sense, there are uh, many sense to this statement. One thing is, we can understand what is going to happen in future, it is going to rain. But it does not mean you should become wet. You can take an umbrella. Kaliyuga is an ocean of fault. But asti ko mahan guna, there is great advantage. Kirtana dev krishna sya mukta sangha param rajet. One can attain the spiritual world, spiritual abode by chanting the names of Krishna. Become happy here in Kaliyuga. So Kaliyuga is full of distress and misery. But those who take umbrella, those who take shelter of holy name, there is no misery for them. So Trikal Darshis can know Kaliyuga is going to happen. But then, whether we will enjoy or suffer depends upon us. Another thing is, because we have a particular pattern in our life. So, Trikal Darshis know, if I, if this person encounters the, such situation in future, what would be his or her response? That we, we all can tell. If a person is uh, very habitual, habituated to drinking, he has been drinking continuously for last five years, tomorrow also he is going to go and drink. In this way, they can predict. So, in this way, Trikal Darshis can tell about future. How to have a proper equilibrium between karmic and bhakti activities in daily life? So, if we do bhakti very nicely, it already automatically includes the best course of action. We need not do as we discussed Punya Karma or Pap Karma Krishna tells Ube Sukriti Dushkriti. We have to rise above good and bad activities both and do activities for the satisfaction of Krishna. Now when we satisfy Krishna, person automatically satisfies everyone around themselves. One small example we will see. Uh, a person who is hungry, we should feed them, feeding the poor. Now if you simply go and feed the poor, that is Punya activity. But if you give them Krishna Prasadam, this is called Bhakti, then that poor man, if you go directly feed them, anyway laws of nature are taking care, God is in perfect control. So if somebody has to be fed, God will make somebody instrument. The one who becomes instrument in feeding the poor people, he will get material benefits in life. And if the poor is supposed to remain hungry, even if somebody wants to feed poor, will not be able to feed himself. So everything is in control of God. So if somebody has to be fed, God is arranging. Somebody has to starve, God will see to it that one starves, how much ever one can put effort. But if we choose to do Punya Karma, we will get Punya, we will get material benefits. So in this manner, we should understand Punya and Papa, we should not do these activities. If you do Papa, we will suffer. If you do Punya, 
then we will enjoy but this enjoyment is another kind of suffering because we accept material bodies we should simply do activities of akarma which is called bhakti so when you do bhakti bhakti means now you offer food to krishna and then you distribute that food to others this automatically takes care of pious activity the poor are also fed some people are should we not take care of children should we simply do krishna bhakti so we have to understand what is bhakti actually bhakti means any activity done for the pleasure of krishna if we take care of our children so that they can become devotees of krishna if you don't feed the children how can they advance in spiritual life keeping the soul in this human body is important so please feed the children nicely dress them nicely if you don't educate the children how can they understand bhagavad gita how can they preach spread this knowledge and how does they will do bhakti so if we educate our children and if we simply take care of their material demands so that they can be materially happy this is called punya activity but if we take care of children so that ultimately they can understand bhagavad gita they can advance in krishna consciousness they can gain liberation from repeated birth and death then taking care of children cooking for them tending to them it becomes bhakti shooting arrows becomes bhakti just like arjuna did under order of krishna and against order of krishna it becomes the greatest sinful activity so thus there is no difference between it is not that we have to have a balance you have to do bhakti and then do this responsibility no we have to do just bhakti day in and day out but bhakti includes all the activities because if i am going to office so that the result i can use in the service of krishna then that going to office becomes bhakti in this way we have to see that everything that we are doing is bhakti and in bhakti all our duties are automatically included radha krishna pranam prabhu ji will you be visiting pune iskon uh pune uh, i am not sure but another devotee his grace sampati prabhu is taking charge of uh, pune preaching and i think in this month we will have a center there so you can have association and uh, meet prabhu and some other devotees are going to come there and start a full fledged center hari krishna it is said that karma based on your karmic actions then why people who have done bad to another person is enjoying in his life and the sufferer is still suffering the question is why do bad things happen to good people and sometimes good things are happening to bad people it is because we are eternal in this body we have not done any bad activity if we say but we have taken so many bodies in previous lives accepting and rejecting of body is just like accepting and rejection of dresses so if i have committed a crime and i have changed my dress does that absolve me from the responsibility of crime no i still have to take the punishment so thus in previous life we might have done some good activities so i am enjoying now but now if i am doing bad activities in future i am going to suffer prabhu if someone hits me is it due to my past karma or is free will because if it is because of free will why i am facing the hit and if because of my past karma why is taking karma of hitting me so if somebody is hitting us we should protect ourselves now if it is in our karma to get hit despite our efforts we have to face the blow but if it is not in our karma then by our duties it is our duty to protect this body because this body is given by krishna to us for self realization so as a matter of duty we protect this body if it is there in karma to suffer the blow despite our best efforts of self defense we have to face the blow but if it is not there in our karma we will be able to defend ourselves now this other person uh so this other person might have a karmic reaction in previous life and might not have also that is why we should do our duty very nicely we, it is told if i have to die then nobody can save me but it is my duty to save my body 
if i come in tamoguna oh let it uh, happen whatever is there due in my karma then that is called tamoguna so as i explained karma means i have appeared for some job interview now my position is fixed if you do this kind of job this much salary is fixed now if i do not go for job itself i will not get that salary even which is fixed nai suptasya singhasya pravishanti mukhe mraga in this way please try to understand in this material world anybody who has come one has to do karma one has to engage in activities but fixed means despite working very hard you will not get more salary or less salary that fixed amount will come to us but if you do not do the work at all even whatever is fixed we will not be able to get it so that is why we should not become uh, inert okay please hit me if it is there in karma no this wrong understanding so it is there in my destiny so i have to go to the office and work in a regulated manner then i'll get it so scriptures mention maximum 8 hours you should put in your work and then whatever is in destiny that will come to us that will unfold so thus we should do our duty if it is there in karma i will not be able to protect myself and if it is there in karma then that person is simply acting as instrument i have to face the blow i hope it clears prabhu why i need to work more harder than any other so if we have to do hard work then that is uh, again our free will or it could be because of karma also sometimes people have very bad karma but we should understand we should not put more than 8 hours of work but sometimes it could be situation we cannot work less so we should try to see in a situation where we can eventually settle for it sometimes karma can be very tight but we should try we do not work more than 8 hours in that and that is also maximum in that whatever is there in our karma it will automatically unmanifest we usually work hard because we think if i work hard i'll become more successful in life but that is not fact temporarily it appears if i work hard see i have got more money there is direct proportion if i put in 2 hours of more work i get overtime but even if we are able to get the overtime money we will not be able to enjoy the money if it is not in karma we will get some diseases doctor will take away the money or thief will take away the money there would be some legal case and the lawyer will take away the money or the other relatives in the house will enjoy sons and other generations will enjoy but i will not be able to enjoy i can only enjoy what is there in karma thus there is a great misconception you work hard and nothing happens by that we understand we have got a job a position even if you work very hard now now there is no more money when appraisal will happen if you have worked nicely then it will increase so working hard does not increase the results prahlad maharaj says labhyate dukhvat anyata sukham without working hard distress comes in our life without working hard happiness also will come if i choose a college there are some things which are fixed and there are some things which are not fixed but a trikal darshi devotee and the lord can see everything what you are going to do no because that freedom is given to you so lord can see everything which is existing but your future is not existing in that sense freedom is there you want to do it you do you don't want you don't do so in this way we have to understand trikal darshi nicely hari krishna prabhu our activity or our actions how they are significantly related to our prescribed duty they are very much related if we do actions as per our prescribed duty then we have happiness in life if our actions are against our prescribed duty then there is distress so how do we get our prescribed duty by approaching a spiritual master we should very very strictly follow the instructions of spiritual master and then there is happiness prabhu ji i have been doing the krishna bhakti by following all the rules i had even done the janmashtami puja and i was happy yet i was pulled down into a materialistic relationship why so 
that is always there this material life is a war maya or illusion is trying to keep us here so we have to struggle we have to uh, take proper devotee association guidance in this way just like in a war sometimes one party wins sometimes another in a similar fashion sometimes maya will be heavy upon us sometimes we'll be victorious so we have to keep on fighting and if we are following rules and rules and regulations very nicely we'll be able to surpass the influence of maya hari krishna prabhu ji why to suffer the reactions of previous lives karma in next life so we just discussed changing the body's changing of dress if i have committed a crime in one dress why should i not be punished simply because i have changed dress similar is the case with change of bodies kumar basu ji hare krishna mantosh hare krishna bindu ji hare krishna next question according to bhavishya puran bali maharaj gave permission to tripura sura to go as mahamad on earth and spread the demonic demoniac population so god and devotees help to create pap also i would not like to comment because we have to discuss only the authorized puranas which we have received or authorized scriptures which we have received in parampara otherwise there is dilution there is misrepresentation and false interpretation how to surrender more and more during doing day to day activities it is very simple how can a person surrender to the king how can a soldier surrender to the king soldier is supposed to follow the immediate commander in a similar fashion krishna has set up this wonderful system for taking guidance so follow the instructions of the devotees who are guiding you and strictly following their instructions means surrender so the more we are able to follow the more we are surrendering when we completely surrender then that is the beginning of our spiritual life prabhu is it a sin to kill a person in self defense no it is not a sin what is free will free will means we are not robot that we are pre programmed to do everything and anything in life but we have got a freedom that increases with increment in sattva guna in our system in our body if we are sometimes we feel helpless just like animals animals you can completely predict what they are going to do dogs four fathers were living in the same way like the current dog and dogs future generations will have same standard of living similar is the case with all other species non human species they are completely helpless they cannot change their way of life because they are very much tamasic so the more we have sattva guna in our life the more we follow rules and regulations we surrender to krishna we get freedom in our life our free will increases just like in a jail also if a person behaves in an unruly fashion so his freedom would be curtailed and if one behaves very badly then uh, no freedom will be given to live one will be executed little less bad long imprisonment 20 years no freedom given to you and there also if a person tries to behave in a bad fashion he'll be put in a dark cell so in a similar fashion the more we break laws of nature the more free will is reduced and the more we follow the rules and regulations so people do not know people think let us have a loose life and free life that is freedom no that makes us helpless like an animal the more we incorporate rules and regulations given by lord krishna in our life the more we get freedom the more our free will increases <clears throat> prabhu our very existence is in the atmosphere of non existence prabhu please explain it very nice so this statement is used in bhagavad gita by shila prabhupad our very existence na sato vidyate bhavo na bhavo vidyate sata it is explained in bhagavad gita now our existence in this material world is on the platform of non existence this world as we see 
is a temporary setup it is not the reality reality in the sense just like a drama is there <clears throat> beg your pardon so just like a drama is going on stage in the drama somebody would be a king somebody would be a pauper somebody would be minister somebody would be doorkeeper but the king does not exist pauper does not exist doors keep doorkeepers do not exist this appearance this get up they have taken just for a short while in the drama in a similar fashion here we see somebody as a strong man somebody a very weak and invalid person old man we see a beautiful woman we see tiger we see uh snakes so the snake is not existing tiger is not existing handsome man or old invalid man they both are non existent these are only dresses which are existing so in a similar fashion this entire world whatever we are seeing around us this is platform of non existence just like a drama so although it is there the substance is there but it is not reality it is drama it is temporary setup we are souls within this body so that is why pandita samadarshina a learned person does not see that elephant is different dog is different or dog eater is different shuni chai va shapache cha a learned person sees everyone on the same platform this is the meaning of our existence is on the platform of non existence the re real life is in spiritual world that is what lord krishna tells in bhagavad gita yasha yassa sarveshu bhuteshu nashyatsu na vinashyati when all the living entities are destroyed here my abode remains and the living entities there remain as it is without any change so the real life is in spiritual world beyond material world this sanatan dham which is not destroyed which is not created which is eternal and we belong to that existence unfortunately we have got trapped ourselves here which is platform of non existence a drama smita ji hare krishna next question prabhu ji if a full time devotee eats food without offering will the soul inside that food stuff also get a human form of life as devotees 100% using that energy for lord service gain from that food yes if a devotee is in that consciousness a pure devotee can eat anything without offering because he takes everything as prasadam so any food item which is offered to a pure devotee they get the result of being promoted to human form of life hari krishna prabhu my parents are not very supportive <clears throat> my parents are not very supportive for my bhakti so will they face some karmic reactions for stopping me yes if somebody hinders the devotee's progress they face the reactions so that is why the best course of action is please do not argue uh, if people do not understand uh, we can try to follow and we need not create unfavorable situation for us anywhere and unnecessary create troubles for others also our spiritual life and material life both are fixed one shila prabhupa said i have many devotees and timoks what is this i have many devotees and timoks but time is separating us temples you mean yes i have many devotees and temples but time is separating us so you could see all those devotees who are going to become devotees not necessarily but he knew that i will have many devotees now who is going to be on that platform some of them yes for some it is fixed these people are going to become devotees but for others it is free will you are saying god can't see everything of our future but bhagavad gita says krishna knows everything so everything is fixed and there is no free will that is why krishna tells free will yathechasi tatha kuru 
after explaining entire Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, Krishna is telling, Yathichasi, now whatever is your desire, you please do that. So Krishna knows everything means everything that is existing. So anything that is existing in future, suppose in future this living entity is going to suffer as per past actions, that Krishna knows, but free will is always there. So uh, that is why future is not anything which is already created, that Krishna knows. Because a person has free will, many things are not created in future. So what is the question of not knowing? So Krishna knows everything in the existence, but something which is not in existence, which depends upon the free will, where is the question of knowing that? Prabhuji Hare Krishna, why in this life, if we do many good things to people, but at last... So obviously this is common sense. No, if everything is fixed, why Krishna will come and repeatedly give instructions? What is the need of so many instructions? Do's and don'ts of the scriptures because we have free will. Otherwise, if everything is fixed, what is the need of wasting time by spreading this message, this knowledge? So it is common sense. Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, why in this life we do many good things to people? But at last, we receive not that respect and love which we deserve instead of that, we receive betrayal. Yes, because we have betrayed somebody in previous life, so the karma will come back to us. We are doing good now, so it is good. In future, good will happen to us in this life or in next life. But if I have behaved badly with some people, despite our good behavior, they will behave badly with us. So we have to tolerate and we have to surrender to Krishna. Hare Krishna Neelam Mataji. Next question is Hare Krishna Prabhuji. If my co workers made wrong accusations on me, they make me they make my eight hours at work miserable. What can I do if I can't find another job? Please surrender to Krishna. If even if we find another job, our karma will chase us anywhere we go. So thus what we should do is, yes, as a matter of duty, something is disturbing very badly our Krishna consciousness, we can try to find a favorable circumstances for executing Krishna consciousness. But we have to understand surrendering to Krishna is the only way to come out of all the miseries of life. It is very simple. One cannot tell that I am taking care of my family members very nicely, I do charity also. I follow everything, I just don't follow the government. Then you are a smuggler, you are a criminal. If you are not following government, it does not matter you are taking care of your family and society and you are doing charity also. Follow the government. That is the first instruction of being a gentleman. So unless we surrender to Krishna, we are a criminal and criminal gets punished. So that is why we should try to understand the instructions of Bhagavad Gita with the help of devotees and follow all the instructions completely. That is called surrender. And then we are happy. Then past karmas do not disturb us. Even though other people try to create disturbance, Hiranyakashipu wanted to kill Prahlad, created so many disturbances, but Prahlad Maharaj was not disturbed at all. What is the difference between Maya and Yog Maya? The energy of Krishna which creates this material world that is called Maya, and yoga maya means the same energy, it creates some illusion in spiritual world also. If Yashoda Maya thinks Krishna is God, then she cannot chastise God, cannot control God, and God cannot relish the loving affairs between mother and son. Thus the yoga maya, the illusory energy acts in spiritual world also, but such illusory energy increases the pleasure of relationship between Krishna and his devotee. But that maya that illusion in material world, it keeps living entities in illusion of the of their relationship with God. So Maya or Mahamaya breaks the relationship or keeps us in ignorance of the relationship with God. And Yog Maya, Yog means combination. It takes us toward God. So one illusion, one Maya takes us to God. Another illusion takes us away from God. Sukumar ji, Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, you missed my above asked two questions. Can you please repost again, Virendra ji? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, what is the difference between pleasure pain, ecstasy and prema bhava? 
how can we step up from material pleasures and rise up to aspiring for Krishna Prema? The difference between pleasure and pain, that is illusory in this material world. Pleasure and pain are both pain actually. Sometimes we call something pleasure and pain, but it is only mental concoction. So this we have to realize with advancement in spiritual life. What is ecstasy? Ecstasy could be on material platform, but what we desire is spiritual ecstasy. What is prema bhava? The emotions that we feel in loving relationship with God, that is called prema bhava. That is real happiness. How we can step up from material pleasures and rise up to aspiring for Krishna prema? Please follow the instructions of Krishna very very strictly under guidance of devotees, spiritual master. Prabhuji, if we betray someone but not with the bad intentions but because of the fear of going away from Krishna yet we will face karma or not no, we will not face any karma if we give up any duties for surrendering to Krishna Krishna takes care of all these duties automatically but we have to be careful that we are genuine in our surrenderance so taking such steps should always be under guidance of spiritual master by doing bhakti, did our punyas also are our punyas also destroyed? As punyas also bind us with the material world? Yes, if you do bhakti, everything is taken care by Krishna. Sometimes Krishna can give us the results of our punya and he may give, give us the results of our pap also. That so-called misery, which might be the result of pap, Krishna uses us, Krishna uses it to make us advanced in our Krishna consciousness. So thus it is in Krishna's control. If we surrender to Krishna, Krishna can use both our pap and punya to make us advance in spiritual life. Okay, there are many questions but the time is up now. Uh, so I request, it was very nice having all of you here for today's session. So please you can park these questions and or you can note it down somewhere and we will discuss next Sunday. So I request this is very important. Let us not uh, remain in illusion that by working very hard, having our own calculations, we'll become happy. We are suffering only because of past karma. Only by surrendering to Krishna, completely following rules and regulations, we can surpass the influence of past karmas and become happy. This is the way to real happiness. So thank you so much for hearing. We'll meet again next Sunday. Hare Krishna.